has um, the highest um, percentage of female political participants. Okay, so this is actually a really interesting video because it looks at the difference between two individuals talking about something that's quite serious, talking about a topic that is quite serious, and it shows the difference in their ability to talk about it in a way that people are going to connect, people are going to understand, and people are going to listen. There's a comment in this video, if you go back to the original video, that says, well, of course, Catherine comes across better. She had a speech prepared for her. Yes. <laughs> for somebody who supposedly has a degree in theater and a joint, like a dual degree, um, a dual major, with the second major being in international relations, you should learn a little bit about something about preparing yourself for things like being on CNN live with Larry King. If you're going to talk about a reasonably serious topic, you better have some information prepared on it. And you better make sure that the way you're talking about it is in a way that people are going to associate um, and understand with what you're talking about. And you better make sure that the language that you use is correct. This is why people like Catherine and people in positions like Catherine that make more kind of polished professional speeches quite often, and she always has something prepared in front of her to talk about, sound better? Absolutely. Because they also run their ideas by somebody and say, hey, how does this come across? How does this sound? Does this make sense? And the other piece is that it's not me, 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 me. Megan does not sound good. I've seen the Larry King live interview that she did. Um, she talked about a few other things, but particularly around this area, talking about the genocide, talking about how many women were killed, including how many men were killed. She doesn't sound like she knows what she's talking about. She sounds like somebody who is pathetically trying to sound like they care about the world, but they didn't actually read and learn and actually comprehend it and come up with a way to talk about it. That makes sense. Catherine is passionate about her early years program. This is the other piece too. Catherine is passionate about her early years program. So she's going to want to convey that passion to other people and explain what the early years program is in a way that people get it. Megan is not passionate about any of the stuff she talks about. It's word salad to her. It makes her look good. She thinks it makes her look good. It makes her look like somebody who gives a shit. It makes her look intelligent spewing out a word salad. Catherine doesn't care about looking intelligent. People who are passionate about what they're doing don't care about looking intelligent. They care about spreading the message appropriately. So she's not going to allow the fact that she has her own children or that she's a mother muddy up the fact that she wants people in general to understand whether or not you even have children yet, that the early years of children's development is extremely important and necessary. And you don't have to have children and be a mom to get that. Megan has this way about her and it's something that I've always hated about when she speaks on issues and other people, there's not just Megan that talk this way. It's like, I know what I'm talking about because I've been there and I know what it's like and I know what it's like to be like treated different because I'm a woman or I'm this or I'm that. So I'm going to speak about this. You sort of lose a large chunk of your audience. Because let me tell you, when you're talking about especially women's rights and women's advocacy and equal rights for women and equality, and well, I'd say equity at this point, but equity mm -hmm. for women, mm -hmm. you need to convey that to people who are not necessarily men because that's, guess what? You have to have a societal buy-in. And you don't get that when you sit there going, I, I, me, 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 I, I, me, me, me. And unless you've happened, had this happen to you, you can't understand and you can't be an advocate. And, bah, 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 bah. and that's the problem. And that is very much how Megan talks. And because Megan thinks she's highly intelligent and thinks that she can talk on these matters, she doesn't have anybody come in and say, hey, let's prepare some talking points. There is nothing wrong with going on a show like Larry King Live and having some notes. There is nothing wrong with that. And I think somebody of Larry King's caliber would actually respect that a lot more if you came in and said, hey, I just have some talking notes on a couple things because you sent me some questions and I just wanted to make sure that I'm all good to go. And you know, it's pretty serious stuff. So I just want to make sure I have my talking points. Larry's going to be like, okay, you can have them spread out in front of a desk. They can pan the camera up so that this, you know, here up. You don't have to see the desk and see that you have talking points. And even if people see it, who cares? It means you're prepared. It means that you're going on and you know what you're talking about. The dude talking in this video, a little, little dry about how he talks. But, you know, he's a linguistics language guy. That seems to be the way I've noticed with a few of them. I work with some of those people. God love them. But, whew. 
uh, when they get talking linguistics, but it's an interesting read. It's interesting. If you're somebody who's going to talk about serious issues, if you're somebody that likes to go out and do this kind of work, man, use, use other people, run ideas by, don't be scared to say, Hey, can you help me prepare some talking points? Can you help me prepare some notes? There's nothing wrong with that because you're going to get your message out properly. And not only that, but you're going to look professional, you're going to look polished and you're going to look like, you know what you're talking about, but you're also going to convey a little bit of passion in what you're talking about because you're going to have put the effort through versus just spewing out some garbagey word salad and absolutely stumbling your way through answering the question. You just look like a buffoon.